Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And you know, I'm on my road, my road to getting back to 100% right now. And uh, But you know, ain't nothing gonna motherfucking stop me. Right now, we want to talk about, well, yeah, we want to talk about the motherfucking um, color system and the color spectrum. Now, because I've been doing a lot of uh, thinking and shit. When, well, through my little out of body experience and not being able to physically do anything so you know what I'm saying I've been going through a lot of things and writing down a lot of information once I got the ability to actually write and um, when we want to talk about I want to talk about the color system and the color spectrum because I don't think people actually understand now from a left brain point of view and a logical point of view yeah you could go to a scientist and they'll tell you all day how you can measure color they say it's just basically wavelengths and you can measure it and is from the spectrum of black and white and once you leave from uh, white you go to the lightest color which is the lightest shades of blue then once you go all the way to black you end up going all the way to the, the darkest sh uh, color shades and then the darkest reds and then the, the darkest uh, purples and then the black you know what I'm saying which is absolutely right but you know my channel is more based upon the visualizations we get before we even come here to, rep to see things externally so I'm representing it from the yin realm and, and color spectrums is energy and energy force fields and things of that nature so these are the things that you see first before you actually see anything externally and you might be like how I'm looking at something I see what I'm looking at first and I see the color of it no when you look at something when you when you catch vibes you catch feelings you catch emotions and stuff like that keyword catch you're receiving see in this world it's like we didn't lost the fact of being proactive, so we're in a world of of proactive beings, and we're being reactive. When we're supposed to be in a situation where we're able to be proactive, you see what I'm saying? So we, you lost your power some way, but for the most part, you're in a realm of, react, a realm of reality where you're reactive. So you're reacting. So you re the, the word re frequency goes into so many mechanisms. So you're to even react, you have to receive. See, re is gonna and redo to experience and not to experience that same experience again. See, all this is tied to the soul. All this is all this is tied to the emotions and feelings. And when you realize that's opening your third eye. So when you see there, you actually pick up feelings and emotions that's actually seeing colors. Like for an example. Say you get real angry, you get real mad about something, right? And you be like, oh, fuck, all I seen was red. That's all you seen. So if you are emotionally in, in, a, in a situation where the emotions and the feelings take over, and then you see more of that than what you see in front of you, you're seeing what you see first before you see the external realm. But since, since what you seen first is taking so much a powerful toll on you at the moment that's all you're going to be able to see so when you're super angry and super mad or and if that person place or thing in front of you that made you super mad you don't even see that thing no more you don't even see that external thing no more because if it made you super mad if like or anything that make you super happy super right now we talk about mad so this is dealing with the um anger so this is dealing with the red color so if it made you super mad not just little mad super mad then the feelings and the emotions is more is is more prominent now than the left brain. The right brain is more prominent than the left brain. See, so if you just little mad, and then you can logically look at when, uh, the person, place, or thing that made you mad, then the the feeling of it, you still seen that first. You still seen red first, but you're just able to see clearly uh, the external realm, which is still last. You see what I'm saying? From the frequency, vibration, then the energy. The energy is the external realm that we're in right now. You know what I'm saying? Where things. From the, it got derived from the frequency, experienced through the vibration, and manifested through the energy. And now you can externally see it. You saying my soul group probably stand with me, but if you're new to my channel, I, let me, I, I didn't smoke the blunt. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me let me get back to reality so I could pinpoint things a little better. All right, now um, for an example, still when when you in a situation where um, you're you're angry and all you see is red. Right. That's the and then that's the first thing you see. If that if the energy of the feelings and emotions is more prominent, that means you're super mad. Some some impact your emotions and feelings way more, or or your right brain way more than your left brain. 
then boom, all you're going to see is that ram. That's why you be like, all I see is red. Or if, if a person say you're super happy or something like that, you, you might see all I seen was colors. All I seen was bliss. All I seen was there's a color for that. You see what I'm saying? So, and when we get into this video, I just wanted to do a quick synopsis on things. Like when we get, when we get into this, um, each sign is automatically carrying a, a vibration energy. I mean, a, a vibrational color. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of times, this is why, as me being an Aries, Aries color naturally is red. So, a lot of times, when I'm going out to do something that I desire to do or passionately want to do, it's good for me to wear red. But a lot of times, just in natural situations, it's good for me to wear blue or other colors or green because it will calm down the energies of the redness I already have. So a lot of times when it, when an Aries, say an Aries don't got no passion or motivation, so they're just a regular Aries. So now they just got anger and aggression at themselves or, or people that they're around that they're blaming for not for lack of whatever they got going on in their life. The energy that they uh they naturally gonna be carrying the red energy. So even if they wake up one day and, and don't be on that, they be super nice, the people around them may look at them uh May, may look at them like, oh no, this person get ready to be angry, or this person get ready to say something. And then you, you be looking at it like, why is this person judging me or something like that? It's because you already carrying that energy. So each sign sometimes is good for them to carry certain, or wear certain jewelry or, or wear certain colors to temper um, their certain energies on certain days so they don't go overboard um, from, the, from what other people receive from them. All right, now, and then let's go to the main spectrums. The main spectrums is um, white, which will represent light and what's seen. Then you have black, which will represent dark and what's unseen. So you can, you can tie this to uh, white being positive, black being negative. And then you have purple. Purple is the color, is the energy everyone is trying to access. That's the whole point. Um, here it uh, is purple and purple represents pleasure you know what I'm saying now um, positive and negative there's no such thing as right or wrong so you have to use you have to use white light and uh, with seen and you have to use and, and positive and then you have to use black dark with unseen and negative in order to f uh, bounce the vibration frequency in order to utilize a purple color so you have to you have to you have to utilize positive and negative energies. For an example, you may be trying to live a positive way, but you may have somebody negative in your life. So you may have to do a negative attribute in order to, in order to have a positive outcome of that situation. See, you have to look at things differently. You see what I'm saying? So, purple is the color that is the whole key. So, if purple represents pleasure, you know there's a lot of different ways people get there. A lot of people do evil things. If, if we want to talk about a realm of reality, a lot of people do evil things to get to their pleasures, manipulative things to get to their pleasures. A lot of people do um, um, grateful things for their pleasures. A lot of people do hel uh, helpful things to others for their pleasures and things of that nature. But we know the ultimate thing is to get to the pleasure. And pleasure is, rep is represented by the, the energy color purple. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And pure, pure. Um, and all that's going to be tied to the P and frequency of the uh, of, of that kind of energy that's going on. Prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, um, also, this is why anybody who, who who's into music, who used the frequency of the purple color, is, is, is long lasting. It's forever lasting. That's what you got. Weed, purple strains, uh, prints, purple rain. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Popularity, you know what I'm saying? Prestige, uh, all this pleasure. Now, now the max. Now, when you look at this realm of reality, what's the maximum pleasure here? Because this is the goal, as being uh, uh, as energy. I'm not gonna say as humans, and we're gonna talk about all that. But as far as energy, energy itself, the goal, the goal of energy is pleasure. And since you are a part of energy, you are a transformation of energy then that's that that frequency is going to be put into you so depending on your your natal alignment your natal chart and things of that nature that's going to pin the energy within you is going to is going to point you into the direction of what you're pleasured by depending on your signs and stuff but you're always reaching pleasure that was the whole reason humans even came up with a concept of heaven or or beings in general even have a situation where they're in a heaven 
because it's it's a place of pleasure. Now, before we get into that, uh, but that can heaven and a, a safe haven and all that. That's getting into different things. But we're gonna talk about um, that's that's the cup. So once we start off with white, white is white is positive, light and what's seen. Then we then you got um, and then we got black, negative, dark was unseen. And then we have purple, which is pleasure, and all things up under that. Now, we know sex is the most pleasurable thing here. So, for a person who don't like sex in some type of way, they find their pleasures in different ways. But sex doesn't always have to... The, the, the supreme form of sex here is the joining of two, two physical energies with consciousness. Yeah, but you can, you can have sex with you be, just pleasure in general. Sextiles, the alignment, whatever you're pleasured by, Venus, Venus going to teach you all about sex. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you're, whatever, it could be a person, place, or thing, it doesn't matter. Whatever the, the energy, based upon your alignment, is pointing you to to reach the pleasure, because you're part of energy, and energy is always directed trying to find pleasure. A lot of times, we get the mistake that we tie energy, and since energy searches for pleasure, we tie it to thinking that, um, Pleasure is only up because we know up as being light, optimistic, things going up, things coming from up. But in my in my uh, roots of the tree of life video, I'm going to explain all that where every, everything doesn't involve with being up. That's pleasurable. And just to, and just to live in a metaphysic roof, thinking that all things pleasurable is up. You're, you're tying your whole pleasure. You're, you're you're making your pleasures out of reach. And then it's going to play out in human mankind as People never getting what they want, never being satisfied, never. And you see that every day now. Humans is never satisfied. You got humans on this earth that got everything they ever wanted and still not satisfied. You got celebrities that become rich and kill themselves. You see what I'm saying? Because because of this, these thoughts forms that then came out through intellectual beings that run certain religions and run certain things. They, they took the, the energy uh, mechanism and since energy is in search for pleasure, they took that in, they took that mechanism and then they, they took concepts of you thinking that uh, you come from up. And then once, once you put your pleasures up and float them off, they end up become out of reach and then where you at? metaphysically and then it, once it plays out and that really matters in a person's life and it start to play out in a person's life it, it becomes literally like that your dreams is out of reach you can't reach your shit you see what i'm saying that shit is real but you won't never understand it to be real because the place i'm talking about it from isn't a place that you can physically lift or physically weigh this is where science has got it fucked up you know what I'm and philosophers philosophers got it fucked up too what I'm talking about ain't even philosophy. All right, but look, check this out. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this a part two because I just wanted to make this uh, about the actual colors itself and how colors actually energetically influence people. Um, and I don't want to make this video too long because uh, uh, YouTube got a way of cutting my videos in half and just my videos. I'll be on, I'll be online. I'll be seeing people have an hour long videos and shit like that. My video go past 20, 25 minutes, they cut the shit in half. I gotta call it a part two and shit, you know? But fuck all that, but we gonna, we gonna get it right. Flight boss, bitch.